Hi, welcome back to the Tricky Words to Say in English series. This is a series where we talk about words that are hard to say in English and the attempt to help your pronunciation improve and become more clear and to reduce your foreign accent as you speak in English. Now, today is our fourth lesson and it is for anybody who has trouble saying that TH sound in English. So today we are going to stick out our tongues and we're going to say 33 and a third. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our word of the day, 33 and a third. Now, if you are like most English language learners, you're probably finding a TH pretty challenging. I mean, except for the students that come from Barcelona, for example. But for most students, this TH is something that you want to actually replace with either an S or an F sound. And we'll talk a little bit about why that is not a good idea in just a moment. But let's take a look at this TH sound. Today, we are just doing one of the two TH sounds, which is the voiceless TH. What that means is that as you're saying the TH sound here in 33 and a third, you are not using your voice. So when you're making the TH sound, it is not vibrating. So if you're going you can feel there's no vibration here. So with this part of your mouth, what are you doing? Your tongue, the tip of your tongue, is coming up to the tip of your front teeth, your upper teeth. So it's not touching, it's just there a little bit apart. The tip of your tongue, the tip of your teeth, is allowing air to come over your tongue and out through that really small wide space there. That's what gets the sound. It's not a hissing air coming out of a balloon sound. It's a your tongue makes it nice and soft. It's a very soft sound. That's why you can't use the S, the teeth. It makes it sharp. It makes the sound not sound natural. So you really need to use your tongue to soften that sound. You're not using your voice, just the tip of your tongue, the tip of your teeth. So that's how you make the sound. Let's put that into our expression. 33 and a third. Let's do it a little bit more slowly. You can feel here as you say it, there's not going to be any vibration. 30. You can feel vibration on the erdy part, but not on the th 30. 3. You can feel vibration on the re part, but not on the th and a th third. So you can feel the vibration on Erd, but not on the th. 33 and a third. One more time. 33 and a third. Great. So we talked about how students often use that S sound to replace it, which is not natural. It sounds really sharp, really foreign. 33 and a third. Mm, not good. But there's also students who will use the F sound. The F sound is better if you really can't do the th sound you can go in fact there are native english speakers who do this there's certain british accents that have the as the voice th however if you're watching this video you're probably targeting the north american accent that's what i teach i'm from north america i speak with a north american accent and generally, you don't want to mix and match different elements from different accents together because you want to sound cohesively, naturally, like one accent. That's how you can get closer and closer to sounding natural, like more like a native speaker, right? So you don't want to be saying all of the rest of your English pronunciation in a North American accent and then for a free and a third. You want to make sure that it's really consistent. So I encourage you not to use that F replacement sound unless you're going for that specific British accent. Okay, so 30, 33 and a third. Let's do it one more time. 33 and a third. Great. 
Now, we just talked about one of the two THs. If you're curious about that second TH, you can come over to laurasenglishclass.com on February 29th. I will be releasing a English pronunciation for Chinese speakers video course. This is for Chinese speakers. However, it goes more in detail in one of the lessons into the TH, both voiced and voiceless THs. All right. Great. So if you have questions in the meanwhile about this or other pronunciation or English features, let me know in the comments below or at laurasenglishclass.com. If you find the video helpful, like, subscribe, tell a friend. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and I will see you online very soon. Bye-bye.